Okay, this video is going to give you an up-close look at this magnificent uh, Emilian Vierly trumpeter clock. And uh, we're sharing this clock with you in the condition that uh, we have found it. It's mechanically unrestored, but it's totally complete. And it's in beautiful condition. And we're going to start the restoration of this piece uh, this winter. And by spring, we'll be able to update you uh, with a complete video of the clock uh, plain so you can hear the trumpeter song once again. This is a beautiful architectural case. Uh, you can see that the case is done in walnut. It has a beautiful and gray brass dial uh, with metal hands. And in the four corners of the dial it has these uh, beautiful zinc uh, corner pieces which are inlaid into the case. They're, they're set down in so they're actually flush uh, with the wood. Uh, beautiful side doors lined with red silk uh, with carved detailing at the base of the case. Uh, this is a model number 28, so it's an Emilian uh, Vierly model 28 trumpeter clock. And this clock was made about 1890, so this was made right at the end of uh, Emilian Beerley's uh, production run. Uh, the uh, company ceased producing trumpeter clocks uh, by the end of the 19th century. Uh, in our book, Rare and Unusual Black Forest Clocks, in the appendix, uh, we have a complete uh, catalog from the firm. And you can see here uh, in that catalog, uh, there is the Model 28 uh, trumpeter clock. Uh, we've locked the uh, bottom doors open so you can see the trumpeter figure. We want to zoom in on him. He's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've owned uh, probably about 25, 30 uh, Whirly trumpeter clocks over the years, but this is the first time that we have seen this particular figure. Uh, he's an original figure. Uh, he's made of a plaster type composition, true uh, to the Whirly figures made during this time. And he is uh, depicting the trumpeter of Sackigan. It's a beautiful figure, and that figure is about four and a half inches tall. The case is about three feet tall, right under three feet tall. So this is a very large uh, clock. Not as big as some of his models. Some of them are so large they're, they're hard to display. Uh, this is a perfect example. It definitely puts a presence on the room, uh, but it's not, uh, not so big that it can't be displayed. We're going to turn this heavy clock around so you can see the movement. Right. Uh, the clock has its original backboard, which we've uh, removed. You can see it here. And we'll just uh, give you a view of the movement. So this is a Whirly trumpeter. Uh, it uses a large uh, wind chest at the top of the clock with a double pumping bellows system. Uh, it generates uh, air pressure, which is stored in a pressure chamber inside the chest. This is a four horn example. And you can see the four original horns are still with this clock. And basically, as, uh, as the, the movement is activated at the top of the hour, this pen music wheel turns. And you can see it's penned uh, with the tune. And as those pens come in contact with these lifting levers and these rods, uh, which extend up in the air chest, uh, valves are opened and closed at the exact uh, correct sequence, uh, producing a complex musical tune. And so this is not like a cuckoo-style trumpeter clock where you get a couple notes repeated once for each hour. Uh, this will play a uh, complex musical charge on four horns uh, as a large four and a half inch trumpeter uh, figure appears in the bottom of the case. So this is a true trumpeter clock. Uh, these were extremely expensive when they were sold new. So very few were produced uh, when compared to the cuckoo clocks and the blower type trumpeters. Uh, and back then they were very expensive and, and that still holds true today especially for a clock in this condition. You can see the leather on the bellows is still original, has the original horns, the original pen music wheel, original pendulum, uh, still has the original material in the base of the case. Uh, this is really an untouched clock and uh, it's going to go through a mechanical restoration uh, and probably the first restoration that it's had uh, since it was produced new. 
Uh, we specialize in locating rare and unusual Black Forest clocks for clients around the world. So if you're looking for anything in particular, please contact us through our website, blackforestclocks.org. We're also always buying for our collection and also for clientele. So if you have something you'd like to sell, something you'd like to offer us, uh, please contact us. We pay the highest prices uh, to get clocks that, uh, that we need.